We are closely watching several fires right now from Eastland to Hood County. Now you may not be too familiar with where those counties are. So before we get to a reporter on the ground, Jesse's going to help us understand exactly how close these are inching to the Metroplex. Uh, and it is getting pretty close and the fires. We've been watching this video. Yeah. Uh, here's a live view from HD Chopper 8. You can see just how expansive this is yes. and the smoke is incredibly dense. So let's give you some perspective and some idea of where this is. So I'm going to walk over here. So this is a view of the Metroplex. So Dallas County, County, Tarrant County, Collin and Denton County go just to the southwest of Fort Worth and here are where the active fires are right now. This is the complex right here that we're really keeping an eye on. It's right on the border of Erath County, which is where Stephenville is and Granbury, which is Hood County. So right along 377, almost smack dab in the middle between Granbury and Stephenville. Couple things I've done here. First of all, I know the mandatory evacuations were issued for Bluffdale and Lipan, and I've also turned on a wind product. So you see these particles going from uh, the bottom right to the top left of your screen. That's a south southeast wind that was just about a couple of hours ago. Here's the latest wind speed. Watch it kind of shift. You see that right there? More of a due south with just a tinge of a westerly component. So that brings a little bit more concern that this uh, fire could spread a little bit farther east. Uh, into Hood County. So that's our concern. Satellite and radar really shows you too just how dense that smoke is. So visible satellite and radar both picking up on that. There's Toller, there's 377, there's Lipan. You can see the smoke blowing from south to north. A wider view just to show you how close it is to the Metroplex. Uh, if you kind of span out there, there it is right there. There's the wildfire just west of Fort Worth. There's the Dallas Fort Worth area. So keeping a close eye on this, Teresa. All right, Jesse, thank you. You've really helped us understand sort of the geography there and just exactly where this is located. You can hear a siren now in the background as we begin to go to WFA's William Joy, who just arrived on the scene. This is being called the Big L Fire. It is impacting Hood County and Erath County. So, William, tell us where you are and what you're seeing out there. Yeah, Teresa, for some perspective, the, the biggest thing to note just right off the bat is just how strong that wind is. I mean, Jesse was talking about it, and you can see some of the hot spots along the side of the road where we are now and the wind carrying that down these fields. Now, to give perspective on where we are, that's 377. We're right off the road here is this main highway. Now, just down the road here is Bluffdale. They're under an evacuation order. Lipan, where you see that massive plume of smoke that you saw from the air, is in the distance. They're under an evacuation order as well. And just about a half half hour ago, Toller, which is just on the other side down the road 377 here was also added to that evacuation order. And it's not just professional fire crews out here. There are people along the sides of the road trying to put out some of these hot spots. I want you to take another look, though, from our chopper view of that smoke plume, which as we were driving here, you could really see from more than 30 miles out. I just finished speaking with Jeff Young, the Hood County Fire Marshal, about 10 minutes or so ago. He told me at this point the fire has grown to 3,400 acres. Now for perspective, just a couple hours ago, it was at 200 acres when their efforts really started in earnest. And the biggest problem is that wind, because if the wind, as he said, is going 20 miles an hour, that means this fire is also going 20 miles an hour. Right now, they're trying to figure out tactics to stop it because their biggest problem is they can't get guys in front of it because they're going to get overrun because of how fast it's moving. At this point, they expected to hit Lipe in, in just about two hours while they're hoping to avoid further evacuation notice. He said that's something that we should probably expect at this point. It's still too early. They don't have any cause, but they do know it started right off the side of the road right here. And that's what they're really frustrated about is as hot as it is, as dry as this grass is, and as strong as the winds are. This is really a nightmare for anybody trying to fight a fire at this point. We were just at that command post where they had trucks moving in and out. They said for now they're still good on water, but this is a serious problem. And as big as this fire is, at least in the meantime, it's only going to get bigger. Live in Hood County, I'm William Joy. Absolutely, William. This is an important reminder. Nobody needs to be throwing a cigarette out or doing anything that could threaten homes or land right now. We know things are developing rapidly, and we want to make sure that we have the latest for you right now. So we do have Hood County Sheriff's Department Lieutenant Johnny Rose on the phone with us. Lieutenant Rose, thank you so much for your time on this Sunday evening. Tell us what the immediate threat is to your area. Well, the fire started about 1.30. Our dispatch center received a call of a fire off the, the 13,000 uh, block of uh, 377. And the, the fire departments, we've got nine fire departments here in Hood County. They're all tied up. We've got Palapena, Erath, Parker, and the Forestry Service. 
We have Santo, the Brazos Fire Department. Uh, we've just got a lot of units out there trying to battle this blaze, and they're trying to stop it before it gets to a live pan. We have uh, uh, ev- uh, sent out an evacuation notice for the city of La Pan, and it's just a huge fire that they're trying to stop. You just laid out several fire departments that are there trying to help, but resources are stretched so thin with so many fires in this region. So do you have all of the help you need? Well, I'm sure we could use more. We actually had a second fire uh, off the 1300 block. Let's see. That was uh, the 2300 block of Balboa Court. It burned up two acres and a shed, but they were able to contain that fire. You know, we heard this in the town of Carbon the other day in Eastland County, that people were somewhat reluctant to evacuate. What do you say to folks about the immediate danger, and if they are under an evacuation order, what do you want to tell them? Well, I would say get out of there and go east or west, because when it, when it's up on you, it's going gonna, it's gonna to get you. Uh, you're not going to have time to evacuate. And how many homes do you believe might be in danger right now? Oh, there's multiple homes in that area. There, there is a large uh, ranch that I think is where they're at right now trying to contain it. But uh, the, I would say better safe than sorry. If, if you're in Lipan, I would get out of that area. Or the people in Parker County, Palapena County, that's just going to move north. If it's not stopped before Lipan, that's near the county line. That's going to move uh, into other counties. Absolutely. We know that the wildfires don't know county lines or city lines or anything like that. And so I know you're going to have to be working very closely uh, with your peers in other counties. Lieutenant Johnny Rose from the Hood County Sheriff's Department, thank you for your time this evening. Hey, one more thing. We've got several evacuation uh, emergency shelters. I've got one that's the First Christian Church here in Granbury next to the tractor supply. We've got the United Methodist Church uh, out on Loop uh, 567. Uh, the YMCA on James Road, the uh, Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints on the 1200 block of Ross Lane, Cramp, uh, Camp Crucius at the 2800 block of Camp Crucius Road in Granbury, and then Sunville County has said that they will uh, take people at the expo. They have camping stalls available. So, And if anybody wants to help, they can get with Mission Granbury and they can uh, uh, call them about financial uh, donations, or if they just want to volunteer, show up at one of these five locations. I'm about to update that list on our website, and if they want to help, they can just show up and start volunteering at one of these churches or uh, emergency shelters. Well, you know as well as I do that in North Texas, when help is needed, people certainly respond, and so I'm sure you will be um, receiving some help from people all over the region. It's great to hear that there are evacuation centers set up. Thank you so much for your time. Stay safe. Stay safe. All right. Thank you. Now, in addition to what is happening in Hood and Erath counties, we do have new evacuations being issued over in Eastland County because of a new wildfire that flared up in that area today. This is in the same area as the Eastland complex, but this is a new one and it's being called the Blowing Basin Fire, not officially a part of that complex yet. As for the Eastland complex, we have been following this for four days now and it has grown. It is now scorched more than 54,000 acres. Investigators have not yet ruled on a cause, but crews say they have it about 30% contained.